What's up guys, Nate Feldman, Feldman's Lawn and Landscape. Today, one of our clients had a bunch of trees taken down and a bunch of stumps ground up. So we are taking the jackal. We're gonna be scooping it all up, flattening it all out, and probably by tomorrow, bringing in some topsoil and some seed, getting it nice and graded, and uh, they're gonna get their lawn back. So excited to use this jackal. Stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. All right. Got no problem getting up with the sun Scalping up leather, digging in the red dirt, getting that job done But it's Friday night and you're tapping right along with the groove And that pretty little thing's looking at me, I'm counting on you So come on work boots, we got a little work to do it Looks like she wants to dance wouldn't want to miss our chance She might be the one to change our world But we ain't gonna get the girl Sitting on a stool We gotta make our move So come on, work boots First step is we'll go up and ask her Alrighty, so we just finished up putting the rough grade on all of the stump grinding patches. And I gotta say, it went really well. The Jackal did a great job. It's got a lot of power. It's, you know, not too heavy, but it's heavy enough where it can really scoop anything up that you ask it to. And uh, man, that floating bucket too, just for getting things flattened out. I love that. Um, so I think we have about roughly five hours on the machine now. Um, I know my dealer, Kevin, said that it takes, you know, five, 15-ish hours to truly break in the motor, the machine, all the, like the tracks, everything. Um, but I gotta say, like, if this is, if this is the machine not broken in, I am, uh, I am really excited to see what it is broken in because I have no complaints. Everything moves super smoothly. Um, and man, I just, I had a really good time doing this. I bid this job thinking that my old Dingo TX-427 and I were gonna do this. And I thought it was gonna take like honestly days just because it's way less powerful, it's way less fast. Um, and I was, I was prepared for that, but we probably got it done in a quarter of the time. So I am <laughs> over the moon happy with this thing. Skag Jackal so far, 10 out of 10, two thumbs up, it's great. So now I'm gonna go get topsoil, gonna get some seed, make everything nice and pretty with the grade. And uh, the homeowner already came out and she was like, you're done already? And I'm like, yes, yes we are. She's like, it looks amazing. And I'm like, well, just wait until we put some topsoil on it and grass starts popping up, then you'll be really happy. So for a Saturday morning, I would say this is a great success. All right, I'll show you guys uh, probably a little bit of footage of me putting the dirt down and have one of those big rakes um, for actually grading stuff out. I don't know, maybe I'll do a little bit with the Jackal. We'll see. Okay, so I didn't get any footage of me dumping the trailer. Um, and that's because we actually went to a new dumping location and I think we're gonna be doing a lot more business there, which is pretty exciting. But anyway, dumped the trailer, got rid of all the sod, all the, uh, the debris, the, I don't know, the wood chips, all that stuff. And now, We've got us five yards of topsoil over here. We'll see how far that goes for us. Um, I'll show you guys just kind of how I disperse the topsoil, um, do a little bit of grading. 
Ooh, excuse me. Seated after that, and uh, hopefully we'll have some really happy people. All right, let's get to work. My redneck mother sang redneck mother, cooking us kids something to eat. Daddy drank tequila like Pancho Villa. When the Cowboys won or they got beat, that's Texas. That old long star gravel making old truck rattle like a get your boot bit. Still don't snake. Lord have mercy, the ground gets thirsty. Better buy a resist all or find some shade. That's Texas. That's Texas. That's Texas, home of George Strait, the king. Ain't no such thing as chili with beans. That's Texas, hard as a flat top griddle. Ain't got a man if you ain't got a fiddle. That's Texas, with a capital T. If a king go to heaven, I got a plan B. And that's Texas. Yeah, that's Texas. Them two step queens will bring you to your knees. Yeah, buddy, God sure blessed them. There's 50 states, but at the end of the day, there's one that you don't mess with. That's Texas, home of Robert Earl Keene. Ain't no such thing as chili with beans. That's Texas, hot as a flat top griddle. Ain't got a band if you ain't got a fiddle. That's Texas, with a capital T. If I can't go to heaven, I got a plan B. And that's Texas. Yeah, that's Texas. Tell them about it, boys. Okay, guys, taking a look at the finished product. I don't even know how many we did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven little beds. Seven little areas where the trees were down, the stumps were ground, and we went and we made it look good. So could not have done this without the jackal. Well, I could have, it just would have taken 10 times as long. And um, anyway, I didn't really film it, um, but I went through and I hand graded. I used a gardening rake I like to do that personally. I know I'm gonna get people saying, why didn't you use the jackal to do it? And I did to an extent just with, you know, dispersing the topsoil, but I like to give it that super flat, super graded look. Here, I'll go over here. Um, I still have to blow everything off, but man, this when I bid this job, I thought it was gonna take me two and a half, three days because I bid it thinking that I was gonna have my Dingo TX-427 um, but uh, when you have a machine that can lift three times as much and go twice as fast, uh, you're gonna get it done <laughs> considerably quicker. So yeah, guys, I went through and I hand graded it. Show you a couple little spots over here where there were some apple trees. And I also figured I would tell you when I, cause I went and I grass seeded everything afterwards, I have one of those Scott's um, spreaders that you know you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot and I filled it up with grass seed. They had a deal on grass seed at Lowe's today, Scott's, whatever, sun and shade mix. And usually it's a hundred bucks. I got it for like 70 bucks. So that's always a win. Um, but here you go, guys. All of this, <laughs> these all used to be trees. Then they used to be mounds of chips and dirt and crap like that. And oh man, now, they got their yard back. It looks really good. And actually, there's a rodeo here in Buffalo. Not Buffalo. It's in Ellicottville, which is about 45 minutes south of Buffalo. And as they were headed out, they were going to the rodeo. They were like, wow, Nate, this looks amazing. Oh, my gosh, we can't believe you got it done today. And, you know, that just feels good to hear. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. This was uh, kind of our maiden voyage with the Jackal. And I am just incredibly impressed. There is a... Uh, there's just a huge difference, I understand, between what I had before and what I have now. The Jackal is, you know, it was built to be faster. It was built to lift more. It was built to do more. And I know Toro has something on this platform, but I gotta say, um, I am so happy with my decision so far with this thing. Obviously, I only have about five hours on it, but uh, man, going from, it, and my dingo, I had to walk behind it. I didn't have a platform for it. So not only being able to ride in it, but using my weight as counterweight and uh, just being able to rip through seven yards of topsoil and then, you know, obviously cleaning up all of these tree beds too. It has just been, it has just been a wonderful summer day. Um, so can't really wipe this smile off my face, but guys, I'm excited to do more. I have a bunch more jobs lined up for the Jackal, so stay tuned. If you guys have any questions about how anything operated, I understand we are still in the break-in period. So as my dealer told me and the SCAG representative, he said that if there's any 
lag or if there's anything weird with the machine, it will kind of work itself out within these, uh, within the, within about 15 hours of using the machine because everything's going to get broken in. Um, again, I really didn't experience anything like that. Um, but if you guys have any questions about how things operated or, um, just questions in general about why I do what I do when I grade or, you know, anything about this job, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment sections. Please feel free to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications too so you know when I'm dropping my next video. Um, but guys, thank you so much for the support. Hope you guys are crushing it. Hope you had a great 4th of July too. And also just want to say, um, if, you are a, if you're in the military in this amazing country that we have and you're keeping us safe every day, thank you so much um, for what you do because if it weren't for people that people like you that protect us and you know put your life on the line every day for this amazing country um, we wouldn't be able to do what we love so thank you so much for doing what you do and and protecting us and giving us our freedom um, so guys uh, thank you so much have a great rest of this fourth of july weekend and i will see you on the next video all right bye bye